recognize what is that so thing good. for some characters. Yeah, if you're not playing games, against the Mario. If you're not playing against Mario or a zoner or a lot of other characters that kill off the top early or... <laughs> what are you talking about, G-Pick? We have Castle Siege to get rid of these zoners. That's not a neutral stage. I know. I know it is. <laughs> I had to throw it We in wouldn't there. need Castle Siege if people <laughs> stopped taking people to Pokemon Stadium. You realize that, right, guys? <laughs> you know, ba Battlefield's right there. <laughs> yeah, it is right there. Smashville is right there. FD's right there. I need Wolf for right, A7. So we are going to be getting the Wolf, Wolf against the Rob. Uh, I think Wolf is going to do fairly nicely in this matchup. I can't say for sure who ends up winning this. I can think and assume it would be Wolf just because the Reflector can go ahead and send the laser and the gyro right back to Rob um, and Wolf is going to be able to go ahead and control the neutral so much better just because his laser is so much faster, does a lot of damage and you know it just controls that space that Rob cannot be in. Right, I mean Rob also does have his own Reflect in the uh, side special, right? So he is going to be able to, you know, maybe reflect that laser right back at him but it really does matter more about how the neutral plays out. Specifically, Rob does like doing a lot of short hop aerials, especially that Nair, and that provides him a way to get around the laser and open up Wolf at the same time. Sorry, no and but, uh, Omar, so Steve Dote still has himself a solid lead, holding onto that stage, Sorry, trying to Omar. keep this advantage state with whatever air, uh, anti-airs he can figure I'm out against Justin, the, the power of the Nair. Yeah, that's why I mean, not going to connect fully Caleb, for Jamrock there. Uh, he ended up catching the neutral get a little bit too far to get the full conversion. Oh, he ends up getting the drop on the gyro, but unfortunately unable to get that up smash attempt. Right, set up at the side. What are we going to get? No, nope. jumping up air. Not quite going to take it away, though. Just going to hold on to center stage with that top. And he actually sets up, yeah, a berry right into the up smash. Bobak, if you are here, you also have a single spell. Trying to come right in now. on Rob, Bobak. especially if you if you prefer air approaches like a lot of wolves do it. It's kind of frustrating if he has the top ready to go because if he if he just runs back and just fires the top, it's so fast and will cover your landing mix. Really <laughs> back quickly. air, doing everything for Steve Dog right there. It will go ahead and take it coast to coast. And you know, getting that barely above hundred on a Rob is a very big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rob is one of the heavier characters in this game. I love the use of, again, that gyro spin. Going to be able to catch a lot of the uh, get-up options because it's such a meaty hitbox. All right, the forward smash doesn't have not quite going to connect into Jamrock, but it was very close. And, you know, that's something that a lot of people have been doing, really just trying to call out these neutral get-ups. So it's a little slower this time around. You just want to go ahead and put out that nice meaty hitbox. Take that one away, and especially with Wolves, that thing is killing at least sub-70 a lot of times. The anti-edge guard by Jamrock, hedging wind of the Meteor attempt and just getting right out of the way and killing uh, his opponent right in the process. I mean, that's one of the benefits that you get when you do play Rob, just because you have the up beat with the gas. You can go ahead and go quite deep, then rise all the way back up afterwards. Yeah, it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of recovering. If you know your opponent is trying to do something like that, you can stall out off stage way longer than they can. Especially Wolf, who has very limited recovery options, but another forward smash does the trick. Steve Dode getting close to evening it up. If he can make it back to the ground and get a real momentum, but he's going so hard for these forward smashes at such a low percent. He's trying to get any damage that he can. Has to deal with the gyro setup. Jamrock was not ready to turn around and go ahead and get the grab. And here come the lasers. And this is exactly what I want to see from Steedo this late in the game, especially when you're sitting at 115%. Toss out that laser, jump around it, see what defensive options that Jamrock is going to be choosing. Mm -hmm. Now he's being caught, trying to come down right through those platforms. And unfortunately, you know, the Rob up air able to shark right underwards. And it, like you can't fast follow through a platform and air dodge at the same time. So that makes it very hard to get around. The well, alternative. Shoot. Oh! oh! Actually manages to make it back on stage. Uh, the Forest Mask is going to find its mark. Jamrock's going to have to go ahead and be careful. Don't want to take too many more of those. Uh, he is only sitting at 61%, but that shield is looking quite low. Oh, wow, the up throw not killing in that situation. Battlefield just a tall enough ceiling, barely. Luckily enough, you know, Steve Dode was not sure how to make it back to the stage. Uh, ends up air dodging past that ledge, losing his stock. And in that last grab that Jamrock ended up getting, Surprisingly, no pummels. If he would have got at least one to two, I feel like that stock would have been gone. Yeah, I and mean, especially when your opponent's at 160, 170. Well, you know they're not getting out. You can get like, like even, four even or if you, five. Exactly. Yeah. yeah they, the, uh, the mash out requirements go up like exponentially mm -hmm. with percent. So it's you can like, really I don't care that. if you're con con. I'm still going to pummel you. Yeah. 
You could, you could have used all the Luigi Cyclone in your previous life. I am not afraid. <laughs> hey, guys, we just won. Uh, so, yeah, that was Jamrock taking the first game. And I, if I saw correctly, they're going to Yoshi's story. Story. Okay. Which is uh, kind of surprising because it's another tri plan, and I feel like Jamrock's going to get even more benefit sharking underneath these platforms when he's in advantage state that he did previously. I think with the slant, that's something that Steve Doe is really looking for himself, uh, trying to go ahead and shark with the down smash usually that, that Wolf has is such a big hitbox, and he's able to go in and connect it. He's taking socks quite early. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true, and especially because that slant is going to move that down smash at a lower angle, it's going to catch uh, Rob's recovery a little bit easier. All right, a couple of rolls, Steve Dodd finally ain't going to get oh. punished, and punished all the way, hitting him with the Beyblade right off stage. Get out. You know, Jamrock more than sniff that out. Yeah, Jamrock really just covering that first option that a lot of Wolves can go ahead and choose with the side B. Uh, this time around, Steve Doe gave in. Yeah, I mean, it, it's smeared right over such an important part of Wolf's recovery path, regardless of whether he wants Dr. to go with an up uh, And additionally, Dr. Wolf doesn't Battle have the luxury of delaying his recovery the way that Rob can. So even if it whipped, like, uh, there's no way he can respond and punish Jamrock and make it back to stage. Yeah. No, I mean, what do you want to see from Steve out in this situation? It's kind of just threaten that he has the angle to take that side B, but keep using your drift to get closer, then opt for the up B to go ahead and make it back onto the stage. So even though it doesn't go quite as far as the new, as the side special, you know, it has a pretty pretty good height on it. Yeah. And actually, Steve, though, taking that stock with a dash attack and just a really strong grasp of juggling uh, now against Jamrock. He, uh, he's doing a lot of great like empty hop baits as well onto rock making it harder for him to tell when uh, the attack's actually coming and forcing earlier buttons from him. Yeah, no, that was a fantastic delay coming off of Jamrock. Just threatened right above the shield of Steve Dode with that gyro in hand. Waited to the very last second before he tossed it out. And he does find himself with a very nice lead afterwards. I love the payback in there. Very good stuff. Sets up just one blaster. Otherwise, tries to repeat and opening again. I feel like Steve Dode might be getting a little bit impatient in terms of, you know, hoping for an opening to prevent it, present itself as opposed to, like, waiting for one that he actually sees, you know? Yeah, no, and really to your point, JPEG, he's just preemptively tossing out a lot of these forward smashes, just hoping that Jamrock is going to occupy this space and wants to get that big punish. And Steve Dode, not quite sure how he ended up losing that stock, but okay. nonetheless, now he is on his last stock. Can he stay in the winner's side of things, or will he drop down to that loser's bracket? It's looking really tough for him. He's having a hard time finding these lineup hits, and Jamrock is backing away from these aerials, anti-airing effectively with his own tools. Yeah, backing off all the way full advantage of that neutral air. Such a hard move to go ahead and do it. If Robs are able to space that thing correctly, you are getting no type of punish on it. I also like how uh, Jamrock used that side B, to, I mean, not side B, uh, air dodge, to just move right past the laser and get the punish. I think that's actually going to make Steve Dode hesitate more about using laser and neutral. And when he only has one stock left to give, you know, having to rely on different tools in order to win these exchanges and make the comeback to make it even harder. Jamrock unable to go ahead and get that punish. Saw the up smash attempt in front of him, but again, that back air gonna get in front of Steve Doe and take that stock, blasting him away.